kidney filters our blood and removes toxin. Over time, high blood pressure and high glucose levels gradually damage the kidneys. That's why nearly 30% of population over 50 has chronic kidney disease. A blood test called creatinine is common. It shows how well your kidneys are working. High creatinine level means your kidneys are not filtering blood properly. We will discuss the top 10 most important tips which help to improve kidney function. First, manage high blood sugar levels. Because elevated glucose in the blood can lead to the accumulation of free radicals. These are unstable molecules that can easily damage the delicate small blood vessels in the kidneys and cause kidney disease. An easy way to control glucose is by measuring glycated hemoglobin in the blood, which indicates the stability of glucose levels over past several months. If glycated hemoglobin is less than 7%, this suggests that your kidneys are protected from the toxic effect of glucose. Second, control your blood pressure. This is the second most important measure for preserving kidney function. The kidney's filters are composed of small, very delicate blood vessels. Constantly elevated blood pressure easily damages these fragile structures. For optimal kidney function, blood pressure should kept below 140-90 mm mercury. 3. Reduce salt intake. People with kidney problems should restrict their salt intake up to 1.8 grams per day. Less is better. 4. Follow a kidney-friendly diet. This means reducing high-sodium foods such as processed meat, hot dog, bacon, canned soaps and vegetables, chips and pretzels. High-sodium intake increases blood volume and raises blood pressure. Avoid phosphorus-rich foods like milk, cheese, yogurt, meat, nuts, seeds, beans and lentils. When kidneys are compromised, they cannot effectively filter phosphorus from the blood, leading to joint problems and increased risk of heart disease. Also, avoid potassium-rich foods like bananas, dried fruits, citrus fruits and nuts. An impaired kidney may not filter potassium effectively, which can cause arrhythmias and sometimes even death. 5. Intake kidney-friendly foods. For instance, apples, berries, grapes, pears, watermelons, and vegetables like bell peppers, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, whole grain also possible in moderation, uh, as well as poultry, fish, avocados, and olive oil. 6. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight further damages the kidneys and increases the risk of many complications including heart disease. Maintaining a healthy weight and pursuing weight loss are considered crucial steps to help the kidneys. 7. Avoid non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, if possible. Avoid ibuprofen, naproxen and other non-steroidals as they can further damage the kidneys. However, before stopping any medication, consult your doctor first. 8. Avoid excessive protein intake. Because high protein intake creates more waste products, making it harder for kidneys to clean it. For example, if a person weighs approximately 140 pounds, optimal amount of protein intake is 50 grams of protein. Those in advanced stages of kidney disease may be recommended even less proteins. 9. Stay hydrated. Proper hydration helps the kidneys function properly and flush out toxins. Aim for around 2 liters of water per day including drinks like tea and coffee. In moderation, they are considered safe for kidneys around 3 to 4 cups per day. However, remember that coffee can temporarily raise blood pressure. Consider supplements with potentially kidney protective functions. Vitamin D, people with kidney disease often have a vitamin D deficiency, so intake of this vitamin is crucial for bone health and controlled blood pressure. Omega-3 fatty acids, this can decrease inflammation and exhibit kidney protective properties in chronic kidney disease. Omega-3 fatty acid intake can slow down kidney damage and reduce protein in urine, although more studies are needed to confirm these findings. Curcumin, 
may have positive effect due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory actions and sodium bicarbonate, its baking soda, can help slow down kidney damage by neutralizing the acidity caused by impaired kidney function, which can exacerbate further damage. Several studies confirm that sodium bicarbonate supplementation can protect the kidneys, but more research is necessary. Dosing should be defined individually, aim to maintain serum bicarbonate level between 22 to 26 millimol per liter in the blood.